From the Wall Street Journal, China's property market may keep struggling despite stimulus. It's becoming clear that China's stimulus policies for its beleaguered property sector aren't enough to lift its fortunes early this year, with disappointing monthly sales data, the latest sign that a recovery is some time away. Quote, there has been no sign that the sector's fundamentals have bottomed out, Nomura analysts Xi Dong and Riley Jin said in a research note following the release of data showing property sales value fell 17% on year in December. The drop marked a widening from November's 9% decline, while property sales volume also worsened with a 13% contraction. Quote, despite the relaxation of measures, housing transactions remain at low levels, added Tommy Ji, OCBC Bank's head of Greater China Research and Strategy. Chinese officials in recent months have unveiled a series of property stimulus measures to steady one of the primary engines of the world's second largest economy. Beijing and Shanghai, China's most populous cities last month, trimmed required down payment levels for home buyers, while Beijing also boosted available lending for building affordable housing and for urban village renovation programs by 350 billion yuan, a U.S. equivalent of almost 49 billion. Uh, while demand remains weaker than expected, a surge in supply also drags on the market, Xi said. The outlook may remain sober this year amid worsening income expectations and a negative wealth effect from the equity market that has led to a rise in floor closures, he added. Mortgage loan demand remains weak. Floor space starts, a key indicator for future property investment, dropped 21% on year, signaling continued weak demand in the sector, HSBC Global Research Analyst wrote in a note. The trajectory of China's property market suggests that a definitive turnaround may not materialize until the peak of the foreclosure cycle is reached, Xi said. Property prices have extended their decline in the wake of the measure. Secondary home prices in Tier 1 cities fell 1.1% on month in December. Analysts say prices will remain under pressure in the near term, hurt by the high base effect from Lunar New Year sales last year. Chinese property developers share prices in mainland China and Hong Kong sold off earlier this week. The Hang Seng Mainland Properties Index, which tracks Chinese property developers, is 9.5% lower this week. Quote, we do not expect any outperformance in developer share prices until there is more clarity on whether property sales can bottom out in the next few quarters, numero analysts said. Looking ahead, HSBC analysts believe more monetary policy tools may support the housing market's transformation. Property Quote, remain the most challenging sector to continue policy support is needed to engineer a soft landing, unquote, HSBC analysts said. A few quick thoughts just in closing on this article. The Chinese property market remains largely two property markets. There's a market involving properties that are occupied that can generate rental income that actually have an economic reason for existence there's also a property market that it depended entirely on state subsidies state funding state directing of capital often building properties that were not and likely never would be occupied uh, china is also a market with significant government intervention in the property market so how china develops is in part going to be decided in large part by government policy and so far we seem to be seeing the government wanting to deflate this bubble um, to some degree um, and missed having economic challenges elsewhere um, and, and also some historical context uh, after the great recession china did direct a lot of domestic stimulus to keep its economy growing uh, in the expectation that exports will return to pre-great recession levels at some point and we just never shook that out so china is really in an economic development uh tight spot here where export markets just aren't what they are um their ability to manufacture goods at cheap prices and be the global factory for the world isn't what it is and the plan to kind of bridge um that return to demand um with pumping money into the real estate sector has turned out to be quite frankly a bridge to nowhere